Uh, what child of mine are you referring to? That would be Star. Of course. I'll give you a hint. Last year, about this time, you called off a kidnapping, which means today is... Ah, uh, Hope's birthday. Bingo! And we're throwing a party for her. Why aren't her parents throwing a party for her? Homework. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you have a child at 16. Yeah, and I thought, you know, throwing a big bash might be a little sad for, uh, you know, Jessica. <laughs> Well, that oversensitivity gene must have come from your side of the family. Well, anyway, they put me in charge of throwing this party, and I thought we could do something a little, you know, simple, not too elaborate. That's fine. Listen, whatever you want to do, that's fine. I'll pay for it. No, wait. A little baby doesn't need anything expensive. What she needs is a granddaddy. Oh, no. Please, oh, come on. You know what? We'll come up with something. We'll put our heads together, and it'll be great. Oh, what's all this? What? Te what is this, Todd? Are you chasing after her? Are you having her followed? Why don't you let this witch go? And I got... What are you doing here? Can a mother visit her daughter? Maybe. If she brings a father along with her. And until I see my father, I have nothing more to say to you. Face the facts, buddy. But the plan is kaput. We don't know that. Well, someone must have ratted us out. Nobody knows about this except the three of us. So if somebody were on to us, they would take all of us, not just Danny. Right? Well, all I know is this. Now that Danny's out of the picture, you, my friend, you're not going anywhere. Oh, you have nothing to say to me? Well, fine, then you can listen to me, okay? Who are you? My mother's new boyfriend? Excuse you. His name is Elijah Clark. He is not my boyfriend. He's... He's Ross's brother. Uncle Eli. It's nice to meet you, Daniel. It's Danny. You're my uncle? Any other relatives you're keeping from me? Okay, first of all, I do not appreciate your tone. Second of all... This I is about Dad, isn't it? Somebody told you I thought I heard him here yesterday, right? No, I, I hadn't heard that. Well, if this isn't about Dad... Why'd you bring good old Uncle Eli? Look, it's complicated, Daniela. Danny! Danny! Okay! Danny. I will explain everything, but right now, you need to pack. We're leaving. We're going home to Tahiti? Uh, no, I'm moving you to another school. Oh, the hell you are! So, what makes you think that Beau Buchanan's only hot for his ex-wife? Well, last night I put on my best combat gear. You know that black backless dress? Oh, those red satin come do me pumps. Yeah, so I staked out the palace bar, you know, to run into the commission when he came in for his nightcap. He never showed up. So, he'll be there tonight. That's what I thought, but then I asked around. Turns out he's in London. I mean, the newspaper said that half of his family lives there. Did the newspaper also say why Bo was there with his ex-wife? Who just married his brother? Who stayed behind in Landview? No. Uh. Yeah, ha, huh? something to do with their kid or something. Anyways, the important thing is this lady's a newlywed who just went off with her ex and left her billionaire husband behind. Okay, so he's here in Landview? He's all alone. Vulnerable. What are you thinking? I'm thinking Bo is not the Buchanan you should be targeting after all. You and Bo keep hitting the wall with Matthew. It's time for reinforcements. Well, can you think of anything that wouldn't involve you flying over here? Nope, that's why I'm coming to London. No, Clint, you, you can't do that. Uh, I, I thought things were still crazy with Jared. They are, aren't they? Uh, yeah, kind of. Honey, I think you and I just have to face the facts that uh, you're needed there, and I have to stay here for a while anyway. Look, if Jessica needs me, or Natalie needs me, or anybody else needs me, I can turn around and fly back. Nora... You're my wife. I want to help you through this. Plus, I miss you. I miss you, too. And I promise it, it won't be much longer, okay? Okay. I love you. Me, too. Are you uh, through here? Actually, there is one more piece to this puzzle. Destiny! 
Hit it. I need to see Matthew. I miss him, and he needs to know that I haven't forgotten about him. I'd like your permission to go and see him, but I'm running out of time, so if you're not ready to give it, I have to go without it. Do we need to talk about this? No, I don't like that. Hmm. You want to see Matthew? Yeah. Then go right ahead and go see him. I uh, told Sean I felt like I was using him, and that he was my safety net. Then he asked me about the two of us. Well, what did you say? I lied. I told him I had nothing to do with you. Well, that's probably best. We should break the news to him together. What news? Rachel, we have something. I don't want to know what it is. I can't do that to Sean. Look, I know that we've both hurt my brother enough as it is, but that doesn't mean that we should punish each other when we haven't done anything wrong. I just, I need time to think. I understand.